and welcome to my first ever computer craft tutorial on Tekio. Today I'll be exploring GPS, its uses and how to start up GPS. So let's take this computer here, it has a modem on the side and if we type in GPS locate, no, no modem active, opening left modem. If it is uh, already open then it won't display that, it will then say finding position and it's now giving me distances so how far away me, uh, in meters I am away from different servers so for instance this one I'm 275 meters so 275 meters away from that coordinate and it can from these four satellites it can t determine my position which is 434 minus 506 11 as you can see uh, if I just 434 up in the top around here 434 minus 506 and it's 11 so the way this works if we just come out of here so that great building over there is sort of my computery uh, sort of software making thing where I make most of my software but I also have that satellite up there which is giving me one of my GPS signals so if we just go to that satellite just come in here this chest re uh, is rigged up to a uh, another uh, chest up on the satellite and it's got the red lime and light blue so that, um, you can put different things up here and it will uh, appear in the satellite and here we just have a few um, high voltage solar panels and FSU and we can just teleport there we go so we are now officially yep here we go there's that grey grey building and here's the satellite so I'll just give you a quick uh, show around of the satellite I've only made one of these but basically here's that chest uh, you have some solar panels here they just look good uh, but on this side they do actually generate some electricity which uh, goes to the teleporter which can teleport back it has done uh, MFSU here now here's the uh, computer that's um, serving me so free GPS request serves if I just go back put the computer down GPS locate it's found the position now we go back as you can see it's gone up one for GPS request serve if it's night time the lights turn on and there's just a simple light sensor and uh, white from all gates, but some gate that inverts it instead of doing a, a redstone vanilla converter sort of thing. Redstone just goes around there and activates the lights. Uh, so if we just terminate the program here and edit start up, all it is is rednet.open bottom because the rednet is on the bottom, shoulder run, GPS host and then entering the coordinates x y and z i think uh, yeah something like that and uh you don't actually need to put the red uh, rednet dot open uh it will automatically do that but i just don't like it, like it coming up with the error so i just reboot that that's basically one satellite and you can do that for all four you just have to enter different um uh different coordinates for each satellite so if we walk back yeah, I haven't made uh, four satellites because that would take uh, quite a while. It's just up there, that satellite. You can just about make it out with the white uh, white dots. I've got various ones that are on the ground. For instance, here, here's one of my satellites. And it's exactly the same uh, program, except it doesn't have the um, it doesn't have the uh, red net dot open. It doesn't really matter. One over there. I've got one over here. That computer there. Uh, got one. Oh yes, yeah, one over here. I think that's it. Yep, this is it. This is the last one. Uh, just have a little making something worked out here. Here's the last GPS server. And yeah, that's basically it for GPS. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, actually, one thing, one vital thing is that. On, if you don't change some of the files, that will not transmit a far enough distance because it's 16 blocks. Sorry, 64 blocks is the transmitting distance of RedNet. Um, 
and 16 blocks if it's raining so what you need to do is you'll need to go to start type in percent app data percent hit enter should take you to a roaming folder if you're not then just hit roaming so roaming technic um tech it config and then you should see um uh, com mod computer craft now if it if it can't find a program to open it with just open it with something like wordpad and you'll see it's got here modem range i've changed that to 1000 it was 64 and modem range during storm 900 was uh, 16 and then uh, i'm not sure if this really matters but i've just added in here again 1000 and um uh, where's Ah, here we go, during storm 900 blocks. So you can edit that to whatever you want, just depending on the transmitting distance that you want. As for GPS, it's better to have it as far as you can. And yeah, that's basically it. So thank you for watching CoopsTube. See you next time.